Hello everyone, welcome back to The Gaming Flow and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix Remnant 2 is having crashing issue <clears throat> it is not launching or freezing, stuttering, low FPS drop, even black screen and many, uh, many, more, uh, many of the users are having the issue such as low fatal error issue some users end up in having out of memory error and many users started having the error direct x not supported error so these errors are happening for many of the users and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one when you're having this issue all you have to do is we just need to go over here in the start right click over here now from here we have to go over here in the start click on this icon do a simple restart sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue so you can try with a simple restart for all these kind of issues so start with a simple restart if simple restart is not working let's move to the next workaround next one is a very important step that is all about we have to verify integrity of game file for this we just need to go over here right click and go to properties go to the installed file just click on the verify integrity of game file so right now as you can see the game is around 69.86 GB that is quite huge so if you click on the verify integrity of game file what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game this will be cross checking every single files of, of a game and this will be cross checking and realizing whether if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing which is causing these kind of issue so this will be checking on this and you will be getting the message once every files are uh, cross checked and you will be getting the play button here so just click on the play button and try launching the game that is going to work for you as well so hence we are in the middle of video i'm going to skip this up so verify integrity of game file is a very important step you should not be neglecting this next one is nothing but we have to start with restarting the pc and like i said we it's already mentioned apart from this you can also go for restarting the steam so restarting the steam is not just closing over here you just need to closing the rest, uh, steam over here and going back to the opening the steam once again is not actually what and meant by the restart so for restarting the steam just go over here at the top at the steam there is an option called exit so just click on this one once the steam is exit once you're exit from the steam just restart your pc once along with this just open the steam once again and get into the steam and once it might take a little bit of time so once you log in try launch the game and it worked for many users so you can try this out as well next one we have to launch the game from the installation folder so launching the game from steam might be causing the issue so we have to launch the game from the installation folder so we have two method one we have a shortcut from the steam itself that is right click on the game go to properties go to install it file just click on the browse that redirect you to the installation folder if you check at the top that is this pc local to c program file x86 steam steam apps common remnant 2 so launch the game from here Apart from this shortcut, we can also go in this way, that is we are going through the file explorer, then go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go to steam, go to steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to find remnant 2, now from here launch the game. Either you have to launch the game like this or you can use the shortcut from the steam, launch the game from here and it worked for most of the users so you can try this out. So launching the game from installation folder will be helping guys out. So just launch the game from here and that will be helping guys out as well. Apart from this, I would like to add two more steps. That is, we have to run the game as an administrator. For In my knowledge, it worked for the games like Spider-Man Morales and even for Dead Space 2. So you can try the same. So just go over here in the Remnant 2, select this one and go for Show More Options. So select this one, Show More Options. Go for Properties, go for Compatibility. Now from here, we have to go for Run this program as an administrator go for ok and try launch the game so this is the first step so you can launch the game in this way if that is not working we can try with the next one that is run the game in the compatibility mode so just go over here right click and go to show more options go to properties sorry i'll do it once again select the game right click go to show more option go to properties compatibility now from here as you can see click on the run this program in compatibility mode set either windows 7 go for apply or you can go for windows 8 either you can set windows 7 or windows 8 fine with that just go for apply and go for ok and see whether the issue is solved or not so uh, before this starting the game i told you about the verify integrity of game file right now all 40 
थ्री सेवन फोर्टी थ्री फोर हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सेवन फाइल्स आर सक्सेसफुली वैलिडेटेड विच मीन्स गुड टू गो यू कैन मूव टू दी नेक्स्ट स्टेप नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज नथिंग बट वी हैव टू मेक श्योर द डेट एंड टाइम एंड रीजन इज करेक्ट फॉर दिस इज क्रॉस चेक दिस फॉर फ्यू यूज दिस वर्क सो आई एम कैन शो यू दिस गो ओवर हियर इन द सेरिंग्स नाउ फ्रेम हियर इन द सेरिंग्स गो टू टाइम एंड लैंग्वेज गो टू डेट एंड टाइम make sure the time and time zone should be correct you have to cross check these both things should be turn it on some users end up in turning this off it might can even cause the issue so turn this on go back and once you turn this on just go back and try launch in the game next one is nothing but we have to launch the game and you have to press alt and tab so uh, if you're having the issue with launching so just click on the play button but you when the moment you're clicking on the play button just press alt and tab and that it work it for many of the users in my knowledge for even many games including sunos forest even for many games in my knowledge it work it including naraka blade point so you can just click on the play button press alt and tab from the keyboard and cross check yourself whether it's going to work for you or not Next one is nothing but you can try with deleting the saved game file. So you'll be losing all the progressions. As you know that the remnant is we keep on saving every single uh, uh, chapters when we finish it up. When you finish each level, so you'll be losing all the progressions if you do this. But it worked for many users. So just go to the file explorer, go over here in this PC, and go to the documents. Now if you find the folder. over here you will be finding the folder on the remnant like rockstar games you will be getting a separate folder on the remnant to delete the respective folder and keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions but that is fine just delete it and once after that just go back and try it launch in the game now go back and try it launch in the game next one is nothing but like i said we have to go for uh, allo the game to windows security for this reason we have to go over here in the search go for control panel search for control panel If you already search or just click on the control panel go for system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allo and app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here keep scrolling down hence it is an alphabet keep scrolling down and navigate to r make sure the remnant 2 is turn uh, both private and public should be selected so right now the private and public should be selected once you select this one you can go ahead no issue Imagine the game is not added here we can add it by default so just click on the change settings go for allow another app go for browse go for this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go to steam go to steam apps go to common now from here go to remnant 2 select this one and go for open now add it i'm getting the error because the game is already added so just add the game and once you add the game you are fine with this just close this go back and try to launch the game next one is nothing but we have to close all the overclocking application which is one of the main reason why we are having this issue so all we have to do is just go over here in the start right click over here and go to the task manager and as you can see there are many apps running in the background so there are 40 apps running in the background which is utilizing the performance which resulting me having crashing issue so just remove everything unwanted things can be removed from here for example like discord and even uh, for example revertuner msi afterburner etc just remove everything from here once you remove everything close this and go back and try launching the game next one is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so you might be playing the game with the controllers connected or you might be playing the game with multiple uh, monitors might be connected so remove everything if that if that is the case and if you are starting having this trouble just remove everything once you remove everything just launch the game once the game is successfully launched just connect back the controllers and try it, try to play the game it worked for many users so we can do the same and it worked in my knowledge so we can try this out as well next one is nothing but what we can do is we can perform a clean boot for this we just need to go over here in the search go for system configuration or you can search for system configuration so hence i have recently searched this i am clicking on this go to service tab go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay then it might ask you for restart so those who are watching the video right now i have hence am in the uh, shooting i am going to go for exit without restart but those who are watching this they can go for a restart once restart is done successfully just go back to the game and try to launch the game next one is nothing but we have to disable the steam overlay it's a very important step and you can try this out so all we have to do just go over here in the game right click and go to properties go to over here make sure this is turned on you have to turn this off if this turned on just turn this off launch the game 
that we can most probably this this help it many users so we can try this out after this we still it's not working we have to give commands in the launch option and it worked for many games including uh dave the driver and many games in my knowledge it worked so we can try this out so you just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties over here as you can see there is a launch option so here we have to give the command the first command you can give us you can give the command dx12 give the command dx12 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working dx12 is not working you can uh, try with dx11 dx12 is not working try with dx11 if dx11 is simultaneously if it's not working you have to change the command the first one is d3 d2 you can go for d3 d2 is the first one d3 d12 try with d3 d12 if d3 d12 is not working we have to change the command that is d1 sorry d3 d2 you can try with d3 d2 check it's going to work so the first one is dx11 then you can try with dx12 then try with d3 d2 and also you can try with d3 d2 also so try all these things and if any one of the thing is not working just remove everything if any commands are given just remove everything and move to the next step next step is nothing but you can try with the next one that is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for this we just need to go over here in the search go over here in the search and go for graphic settings right now as you can see you have you can see that i have already added all the game same way we have to add it just click on the browse now go to this pc go to local disk c program file x86 go to steam go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here we have to go to remnant 2 select this one and go for open add so once you add it there is one more thing you have to notice so just go to the option and set this to high performance it should be in the high performance go for save once you save this just close this go back and try e launch the game not this one go back and try e launch the game and it worked for many users next one is we have to move to the next step that we have to increase the virtual memory for increasing the virtual memory we have to go over here in the search search for view advanced system setting like this just click on this one go for advanced advanced tab just click on the settings go to advanced tab once again go for change now from here make sure this is blank and select the local disk where the game is installed in my case it is local disk c so i have to select this one go for custom size give the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so give the value we need a calculator so just go over here in the search go for a calculator type your ram so my ram is 32 gb so i am writing 32 and i have to multiply it with 1024 then multiply with 1024 that brings you this value now multiply it with 1.5 because it is 1.5 times the total ram so i have to copy paste over, over uh, copy paste it over here now i have to give the value for maximum size that is 32 gb into 1024 is sorry uh, you have to multiply with 1024 that is a constant value multiply with 3 that is 98304 so just copy this paste it as well once you set the value just close everything now go for it restart once restart is done just try launch in the game next one is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the window i mean update the drivers for that i'll be providing link in the description both nvidia as well as for the amd nvidia users can go over here in this link once you go to this link you can go over here and give all the details like the product uh, type can be selected product series can be selected from this go for product operating system can be selected go for language etc go for start search once you go for a start search what happens is you will be getting all the released versions of graphics card right now the 536.67 which is released on july 18 2023 is the latest version so just download this version install this restart is a mandatory and try e launch the game if you're on the amd you can do the same go over here select every details over here and go for submit now from here you can have in two option if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one download and install restart is a mandatory and try e launch the game for many users this did work it so we can try this out as well next one we can go for installing the microsoft visual c++ it worked for many users so we can try this out just go to this link which i'll be providing in the description so just go over here and you can see this you can either download both you can go for x86 version can be downloaded and also you can download x64 version both can be downloaded so once you download this one first uh, what you need to do is we just need to go over here once you uh, download this one you have to show in folder 
just uh, run the x64 version now it's asking for restart so uh, why i'm getting the uninstall option because it's already installed in my uh, in in my pc so i have to click on repair option so repair will be taking place and the issue will be fixed okay so if you're having an install option if you're installing this for the first time just go to the same way but if you are not installing this for the first it's asking for a restart uh, hence we are in the shooting so i'm going to exit this and also you can try with installing the x86 they are asking for repair also just go for repair as it is once you repair it you have to keep in mind it might ask you for restart if restart is asking just do the restart once after that cross check yourself and we have to move to the next step so next step is nothing but after trying with this if the issue is still persisting what we need to do is we just need to uninstall the game and we have to reinstall it back for this just go over here in the game go to manage uninstall the game for reinstall it back if you wanted to reinstall it back you can do this but keep in mind i am having only one local disk so i am uninstalling and reinstalling back on the same local disk is not going to fix the issue so i have to change the local disk from c to any other so try changing the local disk from one to another and that is going to work for you for sure so try changing this and that will be working fine so this is what you have to do <clears throat> and after trying with this if the issue is still persisting then what we need to do is we just need to make a few more changes in the game like over here so you can make few more changes. so uninstall the game and reinstall it back and that's going to work for you as well so still the issue is persisting we have to make i mean we have to lower down the graphics settings so we just need to launch the game let me launch this and i'll be showing you now from here, once you're in the game, what you need to do is to just uh, follow the same. So if you're in the game, we have to make few more changes like this. Right now I'm playing the game, but right now, as you can see, I'm having a lot of trouble. So what I need to do is I just need to lower down the graphics, go to the escape. Now from here, go to options. Now from here, the first one, if you over here, as you can see, the display mode should be changed. So if it isn't, as you can see, there are many options in the display mode, windowed mode is there. Windowed full uh, full screen is there, full screen mode is there, and windowed mode is there. So you can change this to windowed mode. Keep this in windowed mode and move to the resolution. Resolution is fine. You can uh, change this to according your PC's configuration. I'm having a PC with 32 GB of RAM and good graphics, so it is fine for me. Fine for me. But uh, if you're having a little bit of less, then you have to change it and just do accordingly. Regarding the brightness, it is fine with it. It's up to you. So make sure if the motion blur is turned on, you have to turn this off. You have to turn off the motion blur. Same way if the V-Sync is turned on, you have to turn this off. And make sure the frame rate is 16 FPS. If it is more than 16 FPS, you will be having worst nightmare. So keep in mind, you have to set this to 16 FPS. Okay. And if you go over here, you can see this under the upscaler. We have having two options, upscaler and upscaler quality. So over here, if you find this, you have to change this to none you can uh, there are options like uh, amd fsr intel xcxs none is there keep it to none and you have to disable it and if you go to the graphics quality preset keep in mind you have to keep it according to the pc's configuration so if you're keeping this on ultra you will be having a lot of trouble so if you're having crashing and all these issues change this to either medium you can keep this to e either medium and once you're fine with either keeping this to medium or you can change this to you can also change it to medium apart from medium you can also go for low you can set this up to low once you set this to low it is fine but if you're having very low configuration you can keep this to low or else if you're having a little bit of configuration on your pc then you can either keep to medium or high and if you're having good graphics card and good ram and good processor and everything is fine then you can go for ultra so make sure these changes and once you have changed this you can go back once the set is being done we can uh, go back to the game. So let me close this one. These changes are made most probably when you do this, the issue regarding the remnant, all these kind of issues which I mentioned will be completely fixed. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.